Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you a variation of ChatGPT which you can directly run on your local PC. So before proceeding further, let me just show you how this performs compared to ChatGPT. So you get a pretty basic uh, command prompt in which you just have to type your questions. But the interesting part here is this model runs without any internet connection and you don't need a lot of GPU to run it because it actually runs on your CPU itself. So you can ask in, uh, some interesting questions. So I, I asked a pretty basic one, who was the first Prime Minister of India, which gave, it gave an uh, accurate answer. Uh, and I, I want to try something a bit more creative. So I will try this, write a poem about life in a sarcastic way. And I don't know if it's sarcastic, but yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's, right. So let's just get into the installation part. It's fairly simple, actually. You just have to clone the repository, uh, go to your Visual Studio code, or go to go to the uh, folder you, where you want to clone it. And you need to have Git for this. If not, you can directly download it as a GIMP as well. So either way works, but uh, for just uh, keeping it accurate, I try to clone it with using Git. So go to your terminal. I have a repository called uh, YouTube where I just uh, where I just clone it. So you can you can copy this and just say CMD, which will directly open uh, a new command prompt in which you can just say git clone that and paste the bottom three link. As I already have it, you can say that uh, it shows that it's not an empty directory and I already have it. So once you download it, uh, you just have to download the model, right? So you can directly download the model from the direct link called the torrent magnet. It's around 4 GB or so. And once you download it, you have to place it in GPT for all in chat. And here you can see I have already, I already downloaded the model. You have to place it in the chat folder. Once you have pasted it, and if you are in now, uh, if you are in Windows, it's fairly simple to run it. You just have to go to win, win.64x.exe. Uh, and once you type it, you're done. You can now directly run this. But I should mention that compared to ChatGPT, this uh, this has still a lot more to improve upon. Uh, it cannot do accurate code uh, codes and everything. So if you try for write a Python code for calculating speed, this might work because I did not try it either. So let's see how this will look like. Okay, so this is working. But when uh, with ChatGPT, you can actually directly mention that you want to create a web page and things like that. Uh, with this model, it cannot give you that accurately. And you can see the the code also is not uh, defined that accurately, like you know the uh, things like that. So there is still a lot to improve upon in this. And I just wanted to show you guys. So uh, there are like a lot of uh, PC version of models right now and it's, it just seems something fun and basic to try out. Like if you don't want to wait around for the chat GPT and sometimes the chat GPT doesn't work and so things like that. So yeah, no, uh, why don't you uh, guys go ahead and give it a spin and let you, let me know what your thoughts, you know, what kind of prompts you have tried and things like that. I know. That's about it guys. I, ho I hope you have a great day and I I'm kind of sick. So I'm, I'm doing it uh, in a, kind of a rush right now so sorry about that if you face any issues and uh, things like that yeah that's about it guys i hope you uh, guys have a great day thank you